I've been getting way too many questions of how to start my Glogster. Mies, I'm so confused. You guys are confused because you don't read. That's why you're confused, okay? So here's the deal. This is me as a fake student. And as a teacher, I added something for you onto your already millions of documents that I added to you that you don't read, okay, to help you guys out. So here's the thing. I'm going to go to 11th grade AP Human Geo. 10th grade AP Human Geo looks exactly the same. If you go down to here where it says Glogster Poster Requirements and Checklist, which I told you to use when creating your Glogster guys, you will find that I added this new document. It's literally step-by-step -step instructions. Here's the deal. You guys cannot edit this. Do not request access to edit it. You go here, you make a copy of it, click OK, and this is your copy. You can edit this one. This one is for you to edit. So let's go by through the step-by-step -step instructions. You guys need to learn to crawl before you learn to walk, okay? So read and understand all unit final project series instructions. We went through this in a video, I mean, in a conference call, okay? Hopefully, hopefully you guys understood it. I know many of you did not, so what do you do? You go back and reread it, guys. That's what you do. That's dumb. Sign the student commitment form. Everyone did it, saying that you understood the instructions, but I'm still getting questions, so I'm very confused by that, but done. Create your Glogster account. How do you create it? If you haven't already, which I hope you guys have, but I explained this to you in the video conference. Student commitment form, guys, which technically you were supposed to have already signed. This is where you go to create your Glogster. All right? Technically, you guys already signed it. I have proof that you guys already signed it, which means that technically you should have created your Glogster account already. So what do we do? We go to our copy, which is the one that's mine. I'm going to close this one so we don't get confused. You create, you click done. Read all Glogster checklists. I don't think you guys have read it because if you guys read it, I wouldn't get, be getting that many questions about it. So again, Glogster Requirement Checklist. This is the Glogster Requirement Checklist. It is a checklist, which means use it as such. You see this space here? This is for your X's. So we're going to read it. Complete title of the unit. What I suggest you guys do, which I know that you guys don't live inside my heads, which is why you guys are getting all confused and stuff, which is the reason why I'm making this video, okay? I would use this checklist as an actual checklist. Again, don't request access for it. Make a copy of it so that way you can edit it. How are you going to edit it? I'm going to show you. So instead of calling it copy, we're going to call it the checklist. So that way you guys know how to use it. The checklist. It's the one. Here, you should be able to edit already. So one, let's read it. Complete the title of the unit. Complete title of the unit. Sorry, not complete the. Complete title of the unit. Must have the complete name and complete number to earn the points. In this case, we're going to pretend that I already, I'm going to use unit one, okay? So what do I need? I need to go to the CED. In your case, your CED, guys, is right here. You guys are you doing unit two. So open it up, okay? I'm not gonna do yours though because I'm not gonna do your homework for you. I'm going to do mine, which for me, it's unit one. Here it is. Here's the deal. I already did this because I'm not gonna film myself going through this. It took me like about 10 minutes to do it. So what did I do? One, I copy pasted the information I need onto the checklist. Do I have the complete title with the number? I do. So what do I do? I write an X. To make it stand out, I'm going to make it red. Then, next. The next part is I'm going to switch here so that we don't have to be going back and forth. Give me a sec. 
The next part of the checklist says complete title of subsections, right? So we're going to go again back to the CED. I explained to you guys in our conference that each unit has different sections, right? This one only has seven. Two has 12. You're going to pick six of these. So what did I do in my checklist? I picked six of them. Why did I include the number? Because the actual instructions of the checklist tell me I must include the number. We're closing this because we don't need it. Okay, the actual instructions, which are here, must have complete name and number to earn points. How many do I need? Six. Did I choose them in order? I kind of had to because there's only seven of them, but I skipped five because I didn't really like it, okay? What did I do? I literally copy pasted it, that's it. So did I finish this part? I'm done. Instructions, enduring understandings, must have initials EU before the statement to earn points. In our conference, I explained to you that the enduring understandings are these. How many do we need to have? We need to have three of them. Why three? Because I noticed the following thing, and this is not your fault because I didn't mention in the conference. You notice how these three are grouped together and these three are grouped together and this one is grouped alone? Because these three have the same enduring understanding. These three have the same enduring understanding and this one has its own enduring understanding. So what did I do? I put EU because you need to have the EU in front of it because if not, you don't earn the points. Right? I chose three of them, one, two, three, different ones. As you can tell, even though this one starts the same, it's completely different. And I got them, so I put an X. Done. Moving on to the instructions. Essential knowledge must have the initials for EQ before the statement. All right? Where is the essential knowledge? Again, in your CED. Where? Under essential knowledge. You guys will notice that I'm asking for, sorry, I know I'm moving back and forth a lot and I'm sorry about that, but there's no other way to explain this to you guys. I'm asking for six of them. You needed to choose six units, which by logic tells me you will choose one essential knowledge statement per unit that you chose per subsection, right? Here, unit 1.1, which I chose in my checklist, because here's my checklist and I chose unit 1.1, has three different essential knowledge questions. I only need one. So what do you do? You choose one. You just choose one. What do you do with it? You literally take it and you copy paste it onto your, your um, checklist. You do this for every single one of the six subsections you chose. Once you're done, you click the X, you add the X because you're finished. Make sure you have EQ before it because if not, you're not going to earn the points. Here is where it gets a little bit complicated. A little bit. Not really, guys. You need to have 20 vocab words. If you guys actually read your essential knowledge, it has vocab words embedded into it. So what did I do? I took the vocab words that were embedded into these and started a list. I got all the way up to here with my vocab words. I was missing two of them. So what did I do? These vocab words, I literally took from here, guys. See, you see how they're repeated? You see? So what do I do with the two that I'm missing? I go to the KVATs. In your case, where are your KVATs, guys? Where it says unit CDs and KVATs. You go to the KVAT, and you choose any other two or how many vocab words you're missing that you want, whichever ones, it doesn't matter. And you just add them on to your checklist requirements. I added census data and chloroplast map because that's the one I wanted. So we done here? We are, I have the 20. Now we're gonna read this, the visual representation of vocab words. Visual representation guys are pictures. I need 10 visual representations. So what did I do? I went down here. I took vocab word per vocab word of my list. See, 
formal region. Went to Google, Google formal region. I like this one because it has a definition of it already embedded into it. Do you need to have the definition? No, it's not in the instructions. All you need to do is have a picture. So what did I do? I created a table, chose the 10 of them, 10 vocab words that I wanted, and that was it. Going up here, do I have the 10 vocab words visual representations? I do. So I just press X. Visual representations of real world situations. I need two of them. Must include the country name and city. So what did I decide to do? The following. I chose Honduras to represent my country because I want to represent my country. This is a map of Honduras. And then I thought, you know what? I remember that I studied possibilism and determination and determination, see, determin determinism. I don't remember the word, I'm sorry, I'm kind of sleepy. But anyways, I studied possibilism during this and I remember looking at a video of the longest bridge ever built. So I'm going to include a video of it, okay? Because it's from unit 1.5. Even though I didn't choose unit 1.5, I like that idea. So I'm going to look for a video of it when I'm creating my blog search. So do I have this? Kind of, because hopefully I'll remember that I need to look for the video. Okay? So we're going to put like a mini X instead of a capital X. So that way I remember I'm missing something. Okay? Visual representation of a model time space compression because that's the model that we studied during this unit. It has to be a model that you guys studied during your unit, okay? I'm going to erase this because I didn't use this one at the end, I used the other one. Seven additional visual representations. They have to be related to the unit. This was obvio, I shouldn't have to tell you that. So what did I do? I looked for seven other pictures that are related to the unit. And I added what they are so that I know what they are when I'm creating my Glogster. So what do I do? I got that. Am I finished? No, I'm not finished. Why am I not finished? Because you have a rubric. You need to read. This is my problem with you guys. You guys need to read, okay? All graphics are related to the topic. Again, I didn't have to tell you it because it was written down. Yes, they are all related. I made sure that they were all related, so I'm good, okay? There is a variety of color in different texts. 10 different colors minimum. Here, this part is for Glogster. This means that when I'm creating my Glogster, I need to make sure that at least 10 of these words are in a different color, okay? If I only use five different colors, I'm gonna lose points. If I only use two, I'm going to use points. If I only use one, I'm going to earn two points out of the possible five. Then I'm going to read, the poster reflects an exceptional degree of student creativity, design, layout, and neatness. And capitalization and punctuation are correct throughout the poster. Guys, you don't need to write any sentences. Did I ask you for definitions? I never asked you for definitions. Did I ask you for explanations? I never asked you for explanations. However, these which you copy pasted. So technically these should all be written the same way you copy pasted them here with the EU for enduring understanding, with the EQ for essential knowledge. You're going to take all of this information, all of this, and paste it onto a Glogster poster. That's it. That's what you're supposed to do. How are you gonna paste it? Any way you guys want. You guys have to use student creativity. How are you going to create your Glogster? Kids, I love you, you guys know this, but I cannot be babying you. How to use Glogster? I literally included how many different videos? One, two, three, four, five different videos and instructions. Watch the videos and read the instructions. I don't mind answering your questions, okay? I want to make that clear. What I do mind is answering questions when you guys don't read the instructions. I hope that this video helped you. You guys got this. You know how to do this, okay? You guys are smart, you're intelligent, you know how to do this. You got it, stop worrying and fussing over small details, all right? I will, I'm available via Google Hangouts if you guys need any help.